thanks for watching. Elise makes a bunch of videos. I'm out on my sanctioned neighborhood walk. I came down to the stone store, which is locked. I mean, the parking lot is um, gated off. So there might actually be no one here, which has never happened. Um, I used to come down here when I was in Kerry Kerry periodically just to sort of take a minute, pass the time, but there was always all of these pain in the ass people around, so now it's um, VIP day. Not a soul other than chickens and roosters somewhere in the distance. I think they've increased their domain area because um, there's less people. No cars on the road. Anyways, they're around. Um, so, more recently, there's the stone store there. I've started doing some story time vlogs again. I've got a couple nature slash animal themed ones coming up, so check those out. And I'll have a description. I'll have a description. I'll have um, the playlist link in the description of this video if you're interested. Um, but yeah, they'll be coming out in the next few days. That's my plan at least. Um, oh, there's a car over there. What are they doing? Mm. Um, but yeah, very not productive days recently, sort of keeping up on the yard work and cancelled my car insurance this morning. I was trying to switch it over to the Subaru that I have now, um, but the lady was being a bit like unhelpful and giving me attitude so I was just like yeah whatever just just cancel it all together he's like oh no no we can switch it no 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 and I was just like eh. whatever I don't even really need it because I'm not gonna be driving anywhere and insurance isn't a requirement here so it'll probably end up just costing me the price of the car to get it insured and then I was sort of like, uh, do you even have roadside working right now during lockdown? And she couldn't answer that or didn't understand my question and was giving me all sorts of attitudes. So I was just like, yeah, whatever, just cancel it. Um, so that was a bit of a frustrating conversation, but, um, yeah, did that, fed the chickens, had some breakfast. Now I'm out here and... Yeah, just going on a bit of a wander, get out of the house, and um, yeah, my plan for today was to call Orangewood Pack House to see if they have work. That was actually my plan yesterday and the day before, but I didn't do that. I was supposed to have a Zoom meeting call with some friends back in Canada, but that got delayed till Saturday. So that'll be the big exciting event for Saturday. Um, oh, there is people over there. What are they doing? Dog walking. Mm. Suspicious. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on with me, which is really not a lot at all. Um, it's kind of a crap situation for everyone. It's the end of, or middle of autumn at the moment, so it's going to be winter, sort of by the end, once we get out of this whole craziness, which is a bit of a shame, because it is sort of my favorite season to be out and around, um, and it's shoulder season, so I was like, oh, I can go to all these beaches and stuff, and there won't be people. I mean, if I did go, there would definitely not be people, but I might also get fined or arrested for breaking the quarantine, so I probably won't do that. Um, yep. 
Really hoping that this, it's the day 14, so I'm really hoping that this is actually the halfway point. Um, Cause again, they're not confirming when the level of quarantine will go from four to probably three. Um, so yeah, once it does go down to level three quarantine, it will still be pretty restricted in terms of movement and what businesses can be open But, yeah, hopefully that just means <sighs> life will be slightly less, sort of, as it is now. Um, I sort of had a pondering about doing a, a podcast <laughs> the last few days. I was looking into getting a laptop because they s were saying on the news that they're allowing people to buy laptops as an essential item but a lot of the ones that I would want are classed as student laptops and you have to have a student number and your school address in order to get them so I don't know how rigorously they're checking the student information in terms of those purchases and I imagine you have to like sign some sort of declaration that says you're not lying about being a student and who knows what happens if you try to buy something as a student if you're not a student. So, well, I don't know. I don't know if I'll end up buying a laptop at any point soon, although it probably would be helpful at the moment. But, yep, that's what's going on. Um, what's this over here? Some sort of a fruit tree. It looks like papples. How are they? Oh, weird. Interesting. Um, whatever it is, there's sure a lot of them. No one seems to be taking them, obviously. Weird. Anyways, that's um, my very exciting video for today. I hope you're doing well. And uh, yeah, just keep your eye open for new videos I will be uploading with uh, various stories from my life. That's what's up. Hope you're good. Peace.